Each corner of France has its own unique character, from the rugged and outdoorsy French Alps to the glamorous and gorgeous Côte d'Azur coastline. In today's video, we'll find out the top 10 best places to visit in France. But before we get started, subscribe to our video and turn on the notifications. Number 10. The French Alps The French Alps are home to some of the world's most breathtaking natural beauty. The beautiful Mont Blanc, Europe's tallest mountain, rises to 4,810 meters and is an iconic snow-capped summit. The air is crisp and the scenery is breathtaking. With crystal clear lakes, magnificent flowing waterfalls, calm valleys, and cool pine woods, Visitors rush to the Alps in the summer to undertake hiking, cycling, and mountain climbing. The French Alps attract a large number of tourists in the winter for alpine skiing, snowboarding, and cross-country skiing. Many of France's top-rated ski resorts are located in this area. Ice skating, dog sledding, and old-fashioned horse-drawn sleigh rides are some of the other activities available during the winter season. Number 9. The Jeanne of Arc Monuments in Chinon Jeanne of Arc, France's national heroine, was just 17 years old when she led the country to victory during the Hundred Years' War. Her divinely destined mission, guided by angelic voices, continues to inspire the faithful. Jeanne of Arc's incredible story began at Chinon, where she met the future Charles VII at the Fortress Royale on March 9, 1929, a medieval fortified castle. On this historic date, the Maid of Orleans told the Dauphin of his claim to the throne and requested assistance in assembling an army to end the siege of Orleans. Number 8. Biarritz Biarritz is an affluent coastal town with beautiful beaches that combines Parisian-style elegance with the untamed natural beauty of the Atlantic coast. Empress Eugène, who adored the Basque region, chose Biarritz as her favorite. Her imperial palace, the Villa Eugène, was built on the sandy slope overlooking the Bay of Biscay. The five-star Hotel du Palais, which provides elegantly designed guest rooms and an oceanfront gastronomy restaurant, has been restored into a second empire mansion. The Grand Play, a sandy beach next to the hotel property, has been attracting sunbathers since the Bella Epoque. Number 7 the Alsace region. The ancient towns of Strasbourg and Colmar, as well as the hundreds of Alsatian villages, exude a certain old-world beauty not found anywhere in France. Alsace's architecture and atmosphere have been impacted by neighboring Germany throughout the years, as seen by the vividly painted, half-timbered homes and historic Gothic cathedrals. Strasbourg with its tiny cobblestone streets, picturesque canals, and majestic cathedrals, is charming and cultured. Colmar is an Alsatian town with fascinating antique churches and characteristic buildings with flower-bedecked balconies. Number 6. Reims Reims is rightfully included in France's Villes de Art et Histoire, List, the Cathedral Notre Dame de Reims, where French monarchs were crowned, is the most famous of the town's three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The most famous incident occurred in 1429 when Jean of Arc led Charles VII to the cathedral for his consecration as king. The Notre Dame Cathedral of Reims, built in the 13th century, is a masterpiece of high Gothic architecture. The gleaming facade 
is adorned with a plethora of flying buttresses and carved angels, while the large interior exudes a somber spirituality. Strasbourg, with its tiny cobblestone streets, picturesque canals, and majestic cathedral, is charming and cultured. Number 5. The Chateau of the Loire Valley Magnificent castles are strewn throughout the heavily wooded terrain of the Loire Valley. Like scenes from a fairy tale, the Loire Valley is France's largest UNESCO-listed property stretching 280 kilometers from sully sur loire to chalonis sur loire in Anjou. The region has a remarkably diverse cultural heritage. France's rulers erected opulent rural residences here, mainly for leisure and enjoyment throughout the 15th and 16th centuries. The enormous Chateau de Chambord and the iconic Chateau de Senoso provide insight into the grandeur of the Renaissance-era French court. Number 4. Mont Saint-Michel in Normandy The Normandy region's showpiece is Mont Saint-Michel, a pastoral environment of apple orchards, forests, and cow pastures. This must-see tourist site is at the top of a long list of Normandy's vacation attractions that includes fantastic views like medieval castles and picturesque villages. The Abbey of Mont Saint Michel, built between the 11th and 13th centuries, is one of France's most awe-inspiring vistas. The Abbey which is inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List is positioned on the peak of an island in the Bay of Mont Saint Michel and is regarded as a Gothic architectural masterpiece. Number 3. The Côte d'Azur The Côte d'Azur, often known as the French Riviera, is a luxurious length of Mediterranean coastline famed for its deep turquoise seas because of the bright weather in this part of southern France for much of the year. The skies are typically a captivating cerulean color. The Côte d'Azur has been a famous coastal resort destination since the early 19th century, stretching roughly from Saint-Tropez, overlapping with the province area, to Menton, less than 30 kilometers from the Italian border. The temperature is nicer in the spring and fall, and the environment is quieter and more peaceful. Number 2. Provence Provence, in contrast to the dark sky of Paris and northern France, enjoys beautiful Mediterranean sunlight for the most of the year. This rural location has a raw, earthy look, as though it has been unaffected by the modern world. A mosaic of modest farms, olive groves, sunflower fields, and lavender fields adorn the undulating hills, aromatic rosemary, sage, and thyme, as well as other wild herbs, grow abundantly here and provide flavor to the local food. Impressionist painters were inspired to produce brilliant works of art by this dreamlike environment. Number 1. Paris The Eiffel Tower, or as the French call it, La Tour Eiffel, is one of the world's most recognizable landmarks. The tower was designed as the centerpiece of the 1889 World's Fair in Paris and was meant to commemorate the centennial of the French Revolution and show off France's modern mechanical prowess on a world stage. The Louvre, one of Paris's top museums, houses an outstanding fine art collection, while the Musée d'Orsay and the Musée d'Orangerie have gems of French Impressionist art. Paris's evocative medieval neighborhoods and beautiful boulevards are among the city's other attractions. Shopping at bookshops in the Latin Quarter, 
wandering the champs, elices, and people watching from the sidewalk cafe terrace on the boulevard Saint Germain de Presse are all must do visitor activities. The UNESCO listed Chateau de Versailles is a short rail trip from Paris. This lavish 17th century castle built for Louis XIV, the Sun King, is a testimony to the French monarch's splendor and absolute authority. Visitors may envision themselves in a scenario from France's bygone royal courts thanks to the chateau's magnificent Baroque exterior, brilliant hall of mirrors, and fountain-adorned formal gardens. From cultured cities to pristine nature sites, France offers endless tourist attractions. Make sure this fascinating and diverse country is on your travel list. Give a like to this video and let us know in the comments which place you found the most interesting. Press that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and stay tuned for our next video.